That joint costs $188. I was like, no, nah, dog, we ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. I'm not, I, I ain't about that life. Good morning, guys. So I'm excited today because I'm going to the dermatologist. You know, this has really turned out to be the year of self-care for me. I started with the lipo. I wasn't happy with my body. I have thyroid issues. I couldn't lose weight. Stomach was getting bigger. I was getting bigger. And I just want to continue to age gracefully. So I'm going to go to the dermatologist because I want to get rid of the hyperpigmentation under my eyes. I also have some on either side of my nose. I have really large pores. You can see right there on my cheeks. And if I kind of look up, I have some lines and wrinkles up there. So I might get Botox. I have some fine lines under my eyes, so I don't know if she can do anything about that. But I generally just want to have even toned skin all the way around, and I also want to smooth out the texture of my skin. So this morning, I want to show you what my current skincare routine is, and then after I go to the dermatologist, I'll come back and let you know how it changed. So I'm currently using the La Roche-Posay Purifying Foaming Cleanser. It's for normal to oily skin. So I just squeeze out one pump and i love this cleanser because it's so smooth and silky i feel like it's really hydrating so i'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off and i'm using a makeup remover cloth i love these i picked them up from amazon they are so soft and since i started using these i cannot use a regular face towel it's just too rough. Then I go in with my Mario Badescu glycolic acid toner. And you know, glycolic acid is a peel. This one is made for daily use, so it'll gently exfoliate that initial layer of dead skin cells. I also get it on my neck. After that, what I would normally do is go in with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Dark Spot Serum. And I've been using it for about a month and a half. and. I really don't see a difference in my skin. So I don't know if this is working. I'm not gonna use it today though because I'm going to the dermatologist. You know, I just wanna do my basic skincare. So I'm not gonna use this today. And what I use to exfoliate is this Peter Thomas Roth Peeling Gel. And I use this a couple of times a week and I really like it because as you're rubbing it on your face, you can visibly see it exfoliating your skin because the product kind of rolls. It's super cool. But I'm not gonna use this today either because I don't wanna use anything abrasive on my skin because I don't know if I'm gonna get a treatment today. So I'm just gonna move on to the moisturizer. Now at night, I use the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. But in the morning, I just started using the Murad Oil and Pore Control Mattifying Moisturizer. This has SPF 45 in it. I normally don't use an SPF because it makes your skin oily and I'm like, I'm, a, I'm dark skin. I got natural protection from the sun, which is wrong, right? Even with melanated skin, we need to use a sunscreen. But because I was using the Dark Spot Serum, I wanted to make sure I use a sunscreen because you know that makes your skin more susceptible to the sun when you're treating your skin. But I used to use this, this product before years ago, but I used the formula that didn't have the SPF in it. And so I decided to go back to it when I was looking for a moisturizer that had SPF because you can just kill two birds with one stone, right? And I also put a little bit of this on my neck and my eyelids because I have hyperpigmentation on my eyelids as well and i make sure i get right in here so i'm going to head out to my dermatology appointment and i will check back in when i get back and let you know what they recommended okay so i had my dermatology appointment a week ago i wanted to get familiar with the new products that i've been using before i share with you the changes that the dermatologist made to my skincare routine so first and foremost let me just say the first thing you want to do for beautiful skin is drink your water guys you already know this water is you know makes up what 90 percent of our body or whatever i don't know the number i'm not a scientist so make sure you get your water in that's the first step first of all the dermatologist told me my skin looks great yes ma'am she also said i do not need botox anywhere on my face so we're not having the botox 
they did take a couple of things out of my routine. So first of all, the it's Cosmetics Bye Bye Dark Spot Serum. She said it's not going to even out my skin. So we can take this out of the routine. They also took out the Peter Thomas Roth Peeling Gel. And not because it doesn't work, but because I am using other products that exfoliate the skin, so I don't need to use a manual exfoliator. They told me I could use any cleanser that I want, so I'm still using the La Roche-Posay cleanser, and I'm happy about that because I love it. I also can continue to use the Mario Badescu glycolic acid toner. I'm not using any other product that has glycolic acid in it, so I continue to use that. But what they did tell me to do is double cleanse at night. So I picked up this Clean It Zero cleansing balm, and I love this cleansing balm. I've never used a cleansing balm before. I normally use my cell water, but I was curious because there's so much talk about cleansing balms and double cleansing that I want to just pick it up and see if I liked it. This was only about eight bucks at Ulta, and I really like it. So I use this at night. You don't need to use this in the morning, of course. And um, other than that, the esthetician told me, since my skin is not oily when I wake up in the morning, I can skip cleansing and toning. And I should just rinse my face and then start with the hyaluronic acid. And she recommended the Ordinary brand, which has 2% hyaluronic acid plus B5. And I'm gonna wet my face, make sure my face is damp, before I put on the hyaluronic acid because it's going to pull the water into my skin to help it hydrate. And hyaluronic acid, of course, hydrates the skin, which also should help with excess oil production. And I put some on my chin and also my lips. What I did learn at the dermatologist is that you don't have pores on your eyelids, so it doesn't help to put skincare products on your eyelids. You can put them right here on your brow bone. It does no good to put it on your eyelids. Who knew? All right, so I'm gonna wait two minutes to let that absorb into the skin before I move on to my next product. While we're letting that absorb in, have y'all heard the Chris Brown diss track on Quavo? <gasps> Oh my gosh, you know 50 Cent with his messy behind. Put it on Instagram and oh my God. When Chris Brown said, when Takeoff died, everyone wished it was you. Talking about Quavo, I was like, no, he didn't. When I tell you the rage that Chris Brown must be feeling for that dude is coming from the depths of his soul, okay? Like, oh my gosh. And then Quavo came back with his response diss track and I didn't listen to it. I just went straight to the comments. When I tell y'all they was dragging Quavo in them comments, they was like, you should have just not responded. You should have told CB, dude, you got this one. They drug him to no end in those comments, guys. And I don't know what the diss, what the beef is about. I think it's over a girl. I don't know who, I'm not gonna name names. Sweetie's name came up, a couple other names came up. I don't know what it's about, but I was like, jeez. Social media is my entertainment, so. But I don't even know Chris Brown could rap. I mean, he's already talented. He's a singer, so I'm not surprised he can rap too. Okay, so back to skincare. <laughs> Next thing they recommended I use is a vitamin C. So they recommended the C Plus Correcting Complex. It has 30% vitamin C in it, but that joint costs $188. I was like, no, nah, dog, we ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. I'm not, I, I ain't about that life. I ain't about that life. I don't mind spending money on skincare, but for a consumable product that I have to replace monthly, I ain't about that. But the good thing is the esthetician recommended alternative products that give great results as well. So she recommended the Urban RX Super C Brightening Serum. Now this has 20% vitamin C versus the 30% that's in the C Plus Correcting Cream, whatever it's called. And if you wanna spend 130 extra dollars to get 10% more vitamin C, then by all means, go with the cream. But I decided to go with the Urban RX. Let me just go ahead and put this on while we're talking, right? And this smells like citrus. And in comparison, this costs $58 compared to $188. So 
do the math. Okay, so we're gonna let that sit for two minutes before we move on to the next product. All right, so it's been two minutes. We can finally move on to the next step. All right, so to reduce the dark circles under my eyes, they recommended this Chaos Eye Cream. It has this ceramic applicator that feels amazing under the eyes. So I squeeze out this much onto my finger, and then this is enough for both eyes. So I'm gonna rub it between my fingers and apply it under the eye. And then once I do that, I use the applicator. It's ceramic, so it's always cool, and it feels so soothing under my eyes. It also just like makes me wake up, right? I mean, it's perfect for early in the morning. I use this AM and PM, so I use it at night too. And before I move to the next step, I'm gonna give this how long to absorb? Two minutes. <laughs> All right guys, it's two minutes later, we're back. The last thing I do in the morning is I use my Murat moisturizer, which also has SPF 45 in it. Because this is so thick, and I told you I don't like putting thick creams on my face, I just don't use as much of it. And I also put it on my neck, which I told you before. They said the Murat was fine. And the reason why I wait the two minutes is because I put it under my eyes so I can prevent hyperpigmentation. You know, I try to remember to rub up on my skin. I remember when, my, when I was little, my mom would tell me, don't pull down on your face. And it's counterintuitive, right? But you want everything to stay lifted and nice and tight. And when you get facials, they do the same thing, right? So that is my updated dermatologist recommended skincare routine. A lot of steps, I know, but I'm worth it. The only thing I do different at night is double cleanse. I use my glycolic acid toner. I use retinol instead of the vitamin C. And I use the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel Moisturizer instead of my Murad. If there's one takeaway I want you to get is that if you have particular skin concerns, go to a dermatologist and get a customized skincare routine. I follow influencers too, and I am influenced to buy a lot of different products, but skincare is not one of those products. You do not want to use what the next person is using or what's popular. For example, I hear a lot about squalene, right? But when I asked my dermatologist about it, she said, I shouldn't use it on my skin because I have oily skin. So I make sure I avoid products with squalene in it because I had some right in my cart just ready to go. And then Joy's expensive, so I am so glad I waited. Cause I was like, nope, just wait to after your dermatology appointment. So that's my updated skincare routine. I've been following it for a week now. I'm gonna check back in in about a month to let you know what the results are and if these products are working for me. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you are notified when that video is uploaded. And I will see you in the next video. Until then, stay beautiful and stay blessed. Bye.